Russell, aka Bell and Circuit here to do a beat breakdown of one of the two beats. You got two for one this month of the beats I made a few weeks ago. This one consists of a drum break that came off a funk record from the 70s. Also, there is a bunch of percussion and organ samples that came off of that same record. Also, we have some horn samples from a experimental jazz record and some turntable manipulation that we saw from the ill-fated camera falling incident from last time. Oh yeah, I also played some bass. So come on, I'm gonna break it down right now. So the drum section, the drum break that makes up the rhythmic backbone of this track um, sounds like this. I did uh, have to warp it a little bit, but uh, I did get carried away with that uh, earlier on when I was working on the track and kind of sucked all the life out of it. So I tried to remove as many warp markers as I could and have it still uh, sound good, but but funky. Um, so you can see stuff is off the grid a little bit and that's in my opinion a good thing. The main backbone melodic piece is the same organ line but it's two it's broken up into two different samples so one has some percussion hits on it and one has some timbali hits on it. So first we'll hear the Percussion hits. Followed by the little Timbali accents. That's kind of the underlying melodic theme for that first part. Later on we get to a few other melodic elements. We have these um, horn pads and it's the same sample but I've pitched one down by a semitone. The next one up by seven semitones. Then we have the warped sample, which I did using manual turntable manipulation, essentially by touching my finger to the edge of the record as it's playing to slow it down in weird ways. I did a bunch of experimentation. I did a bunch of samples like that. I ended up, this is the one I ended up using. It had to be massaged into something that actually had time because obviously I'm messing with the time when I'm slowing things down. So anyway, this is how it came out. I also layered in the end of that sample with the beginning of the original sample. So that, which is the same as that. But then I put them together and you get this. So another melodic element that we had is a saxophone uh, passage that came off of that jazz record. And that sounds like this. That real low guttural bass piece to it, which 
So I'm alternating then between the sax and warped piano stuff and layered that over this synthy organ chord progression. Let's go back and talk about the bass for a second. In the first section where I had the organ passages with the timbali hits and whatnot, I have a sample from that funk record that sounds like this. Slowed down quite a bit, uh, as is the drum break. When it comes to the other stuff with the horn pads and the saxophone, I actually played bass on these. Bass is like this. The second uh, bass line then is for the warp piano and saxophone. Then you put it all together with a little transition magic. For example, right here when we go from the first section to the second section. So there I add in uh, a little pickup hit from the drum loop, signaling that we're going to change. I've got uh, another little drum hiccup that comes in at the beginning of that hit and then some horn um, pad section that's kind of, so it hits and then fades out just to make that transition um, a little more interesting. What I like to do a lot, as you, if you've been playing along at home, is I like to cut stuff out right before a change happens. So in this case, we've got the drum dropping out and then reversed and swelling back into introduce the bass line. So this. which works pretty well. So there you have it. This ended up being a pretty long track, but uh, it was pretty slow and the samples kind of, especially those uh, horn pads, kind of took a long time to develop. And I just kind of like the sort of repetitive lilting quality uh, that was here. So I'm okay with it hitting eight minutes. That's the track. Thanks for coming along. Next month we'll be making a brand new track with some more random vinyl. I have no idea what I'm going to use or what it's going to sound like. Um, come back and find out with me. See you next time.